Hey there, about three weeks ago I did a review on my Westinghouse WGen 9500DF generator and I power my whole house with it and I did a review of that and you'll see that here you can click through or in the description to watch that video but in that video I mentioned I would do a future video on showing how I floated I converted the neutral from a bonded neutral to a floating neutral in the generator so that I can power my whole house. My house system ha already has a bonded neutral um, and so you don't want a generator with a bonded neutral powering a house that has a bonded neutral. I'm not an electrician. I don't claim to be. It's just a video to show how I did it. I, I bought my generator and I followed the instructions in the manual on floating the neutral in my generator so that I can plug it into my house which already has a bonded neutral to power my whole house. So this video is going to go over that process of converting the generator from bonded to floating neutral. And then I've got a little bit of footage showing you how I connect it to my house. So here we go. So here's a close up of my generator cover and it's uh, first I removed the two seven millimeter bolts holding the cover on the end of the generator. And once this cover is removed, it'll expose the, the inside of the generator itself and all the wiring. And you'll notice the green wire there. It goes from the ground down to the neutral. And that's what makes it a bonded neutral. It, it bonds or connects the, the ground to the neutral. And what you want to do is remove that jumper and make it an, a floating neutral so that the neutral is not connected to the ground on the generator. The, once you complete the circuit to your house, the, the neutral is already bonded with the ground in your house. Um, so you shouldn't have it in your generator. So removing this wire is actually shown how to do it in the manufacturer's um, uh, manual. And that's the instructions I'm following here. I'm not an electrician, not a uh, a professional or anything in that as far as that goes this is just a real simple way um, to remove that ground wire to, to isolate the neutral from the ground and so first I removed the, the nut that connects that wire to the neutral on the generator and once that wire is removed I, I put the nut right back on it and tightening that down so I don't lose anything And that is a 5 16 uh, uh, socket that I use to remove that nut. And then this is a 7 millimeter removing this bolt. And once that bolt's out, that'll allow me to remove the whole jumper wire, as you'll see there. So now the, the neutral is separated from the ground in the generator. And I'll put that bolt back in. And that's pretty much it, real simple. You can see the, the ground is now isolated from the neutral and the generator will depend on the, the connection between neutral and ground in the house wiring. And you just put the, uh, put the cover back on re-add those bolts, seven millimeter bolts. And if I ever want to use the generator for like a, uh, anything other than my house, I went on Amazon and got it a plug that you can plug into the 110 that will ground the neutral again temporarily. And I'll show that to you here. So the plug I got was on Amazon. That is a plug that is the neutrals connected to the, the the ground. So when you plug that in, it makes your whole generator have a temporary bonded neutral again. So now I can use a generator with a table saw or something, uh, air compressor or whatever. So here I got a little bit of footage how I connected to my house. I got a 25 foot 50 amp extension cord that goes from the generator 
Then it goes through a blast gate that I got. That blast gate is for like a wood shop um, dust collection system is what that is and I, I mounted that to my house and it gives me an easy pass through so I can still close the garage door when the generator is being used. I just got a shot there for you. Then the extension cord goes through my house into a 50 amp inlet and then that goes into my house over a 6 gauge copper wire down to my electrical panel. So the way I've got this set up is in a power outage I can just get the generator out, put it in the driveway, run the cord through the blast gate, I can still close my garage door, and I don't have to worry about fumes or carbon monoxide coming in. So now I'm at my breaker panel, and you can see the 6 gauge copper a wire come into my panel. It goes to the 50 amp breaker right there. And then I've got an interlock kit that locks out that turning it on while the main is on, the 200 amp main. Um, so that you can do a separate video on, on that. But that's something I installed myself but it's code. Um, I got some stickers there to inform everybody that I have the interlock and where the inlet's located. And I have tested this generator. It powers everything, even my uh, two and a half ton air conditioner. Powers everything in my house. Keep us warm in the winter, cool in the summer. Works great. So you can check out that video I have of my uh, generator review in the description. And then that's it. Close the blast gate and put everything away. So there you go, that's my video on converting my Westinghouse W Gen DF uh, electric generator, whole house generator, converting it from a bonded neutral to now with a floating neutral so I can plug it into my house. I hope this video has been a help. If it has, uh, subscribe and like and I would appreciate it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.